Hey, what's up, Sailor Guardians? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Last year in 2022, we ended up getting this really cool collaboration from Casetify. Now, if you watch a lot of YouTube, you probably have heard of Casetify because a lot of YouTubers do end up being sponsored by that brand. This is not a sponsored review. This is completely unsponsored, and I actually purchased all of these items that you see in front of me. So I actually ended up buying cases for for a variety of different phones. Why do you have so many different phones, Sailor Snubs? What is going on there? So I do have a tech channel. That's my main full-time content creation channel. I am a full-time content creator. And because of that, I do end up with a lot of different phones because I review these throughout the years and different companies do send phones to me for review. So shout out to Team Pixel for sending over the Pixel 7 Pro and the Pixel 6 Pro. I have reviewed both of those and you can check them out on my tech channel. And I did purchase these two, my myself, the Samsung S22 Ultra and the Samsung Z Flip 3. I will also be checking out the iPhone 12 Pro Max case to buy cases to give you a difference and a comparison between what you can get with Android and what you can get with iPhone. So without further ado, let's go ahead and break into all these different cases and explain some of the pros and cons of these different cases. So which one should we start with? Uh, let's go ahead and start with the Z Flip 3, which is over here. So this is my Z Flip 3 and here's the case for it. I ended up getting the same print for several different different phones to show you how they differ. So something you will experience is the Z Flip 3 case comes with these little adhesive strips, which you are supposed to put on the sides of your phone in order to make them stick and have a little bit more security between the case and the phone. I'm gonna try it first without those. And then if I need to, I will put those on there. All case to five cases come with this little QR code. It's for verifying that it's actually a legit case to five case. I'll take that off. So here's my Samsung phone. Currently, I do have a little sticker covering up the IMEI number. I don't know why Samsung puts the IMEI on the back of their phones, which is so very obvious and anybody can see. IMEI should stay secure and private because those can be used to clone devices. Okay, so here's the Z Flip 3 case give you an idea of how it fits on here. It's actually pretty secure, so I don't think I'm gonna need those adhesive strips. There is just enough of a bumper going over the screen so that if you, if you drop this flat on its back, it shouldn't cause any concerns with your actual screen. So there is a little bit of a bump there. You will notice that the sides of the case, the bumper itself, is clear. So you can see the color of your phone through there. And the back is also clear. So if you got the lavender phone like I have, have here, you can see the color through there. It actually looks really nice. It's very, very pretty. Case Defy often advertises that their clear cases don't yellow over time, uh, but they do discolor. And I will show you an example of that once I get to my S22 Ultra. This one does mention that it has been made with 65% recycled material. It looks like the buttons are really easy to access and so no issues there with pressing any buttons down. So it's very easy to access all your buttons. It shouldn't create any shadows with the back lenses because you do have plenty of space between the lenses themselves and the actual case. So you shouldn't end up with any kind of weird shadows or glare. And all the ports look accessible. Oh, I just noticed something. When you press in, you gotta be careful that your case doesn't slide down. Look how easy it is to slide. That's why we have the adhesive sticker. Now I know. So it's very easy to access your ports. No problems there. Uh, overall, it looks really good. Very easy to use. I'm pretty happy with it. Now you can probably tell once I get this up close and personal with my camera that the printing quality is not that great. It's actually pretty low DPI, uh, which is dots per inch. So I would argue that the hood production cases look a little bit better than these ones do. And I do have one of those that I can show you a comparison of as well. So I'm not a huge fan of the printing quality on here, but it is a cute print. It looks very adorable, very vintage, kind of reminds me of the 90s. 
I also don't like that they have Casetify branded all over the place. Like they have the Casetify branding up here along the rear lenses, and then they have this big branding right there. Okay, so that's the Z Flip 3. Let's go ahead and move over to the next phone. Here we have the Pixel 6 Pro, and I have a different case to show you with the Pixel 6 Pro. Uh, this is actually my husband's phone because I had traded in my 6 Pro to get one of the 7 Pros that I had purchased. Team Pixel had sent me a 7 Pro, but it was 128 gigs so I ended up purchasing one that was 256 gigs because I do use it for a lot of content creation so I needed more storage space. Some people, most people don't need 256 gigs uh, but I definitely do. So here's the Pixel 6 Pro case says Pixel 6 Pro up there. We again have that verification sticker. And this one, of course, is Sailor Mars. So with the first line of Case Defy Sailor Moon cases, we actually got cases for each of the inner Sailor Guardians. So I ended up getting Sailor Moon and Sailor Mars, mainly just to compare the two of them. But also Sailor Mars is my favorite inner Sailor Guardian. She kind of ties in first place for me with Sailor Moon because I see similarities between myself and those two characters. So yeah, Sailor Mars and Sailor Moon are my favorite. So that's why I got those two cases. I did have this case on my phone previously. So if you see any scuffs, that's why, but I tend to take care of my phones pretty well, I would say. Uh, so you might not see any scuffs on this one, but again, you can see that the print quality is not amazing on here. There's definitely some obvious DPI, some dots per inch. Again, we have that big case to branding around the back lenses. And we also have it underneath the Sailor Moon logo there. Sailor Mars looks pretty good though, I do have to say. And again, with this one, the buttons are very, very easy to press down. You can kind of hear them when I click on them here. They're definitely easy to press down, so there's no toughness to the buttons, really easy to use. And since I have already used a Pixel 6 Pro with these case to cases, I won't go into too much detail, but I will say that the ports are also very easy to access with this case as well. I dropped my Pixel 6 Pro so many times last year while I was using this Pixel 6 Pro case from case to buy and my phone was fine. So it does give you enough coverage to protect your phone and it definitely stands true when it comes to the protection from any kind of damages. So all in all, the Pixel 6 Pro case, excellent. I had a very good impression with using this case and I would definitely purchase one again, even though the print quality is not that great, let's be honest. Okay, so moving on from there, I actually have two for the S22 Ultra. One of them is already on here. The second one, I don't think I've even used it yet so yeah it's brand new so let's go ahead and show you this one now this is the one i wanted to share the discoloration example of so this was a clear bumper that you could see on here but you can tell that there's a bit of a greenish or bluish tint that's because i would put this in my jean pocket all the time for the several months that I was using this phone. So you can tell that the case to buy cases, the clear ones actually do discolor some. And this was from my jeans. So that's not something you'll hear from a sponsored review because the sponsored reviews usually just get them sent and they use it for a couple of weeks, which is not enough time to tell if something's actually going to get discolored, but you can definitely see that there is a bluish tint, especially on the corners here, like right there, check out that blue. That's not normal. It's almost the same color as my Holo Taco nail polish that I'm wearing today. So there's definitely a bit of a green color there, a bit of a bluish color. It's not so obvious on the bottom because that wasn't the side that was in my jeans. It was this side, especially on those corners. So that was something I wanted to point out. The other thing I wanted to mention with this case is even though I was using this for months and months, there's no scuffing and there's no scratches or marks on the print. So even though the print is like a low dots per inch, so there's definitely, like you can see the dots in the actual print in the art, it lasts a long time. It lasts a really, really long time. And I had no issues with the art getting scuffed up or messed up, even though I dropped this phone a million times as well. So my phone is still in wonderful condition. It looks great. I'm excited to be able to switch back and forth if I ever want to and not have to worry about this phone being cracked because of the case. The case is very good. Now let's check out this other one. So this is the same art that you will see on the Z Flip 3 case that I 
showed you earlier, it's pretty much the exact same art. So no difference there. The only change is that it's not in two pieces like it is with the Z Flip 3 because obviously that is a foldable phone. So here you can see what it looks like when you put it on a white phone. So this is the, I believe it's called Phantom White from Samsung. It looks really good, although I have to say I definitely prefer the purple. I think it looks so cute with the purple, even though it pops more with the white in the background. Now this one, because I have not used it as much, you can tell that there's a difference with the color. See that color difference? Yeah, it's pretty obvious when you put them side by side. You can definitely tell that this has been a used case and this one has not. Look at that difference in color. Confirming that the case to Fi cases actually do change color over time. Boom. <laughs> so I think for now, I'll put the Sailor Moon case back on here since that's my used one. Also, they're very easy to fit to your phone. You don't have to use any kind of like really unnatural strength or any issues there. And again, with the S22, very easy to access your ports and also very easy to access the buttons on the side. They're easily clickable, no issues there. I also do want to stress that it's easy to access your S Pen. So if you do use an S22 Ultra with these case to cases, you won't have any issues accessing your S Pen. So very good. Okay, so that was the S22 Ultra. Let's go ahead and talk about the Pixel 7 Pro, which has the new case style. With this one, I got two cases for my new Pixel 7 Pro. First, I got the Pixel 7 Pro case of the original art that Case Defy came out with last year. And I also decided to purchase this one, which is from the second line that they did, which features the outer Sailor Senshi. So unfortunately, we don't get prints of just separate Senshi. We ended up getting one of Neptune and Uranus and then one of Pluto and Saturn. Pluto and Saturn kind of tie as my favorites for outer Sailor Guardians. So I ended up obviously getting this one. Ironically, I met Sailor Tortilla in Tokyo. and We both had the same exact case, which I thought was so funny, even though she had a, I want to say she had an iPhone and I was carrying around my Pixel 7. So it was really cute that both of us ended up choosing the same cases, even though we had not talked about it previously. I was like, oh, we're meant to be besties. That's so cute. So something to point out with the Pixel 7 Pro cases is is instead of getting a clear bumper, we ended up getting a black bumper. Now, I don't know if that's because they determined that these old ones get discolored because this is a clear bumper and this is the black one or gray or smoky colored, but you do end up getting a black bumper. So with this second line, uh, you actually don't get the only option for Android, which was the clear bumpers. You end up getting this pretty smoky color, which can help if you're worried about the discolorization. Now you get that smoky one instead, but we don't get a lot of those really pretty options if you have an Android phone uh, that you would with an iPhone. I will show you some examples of that as well once I break into these iPhone cases. So here's the one for the Pixel 7 Pro. I will say they have not fixed the art quality it is still a low resolution. You can still see the dots per inch. You can still see, it's almost like a pixelization if you're looking at digital art. So it's still kind of low quality, but it does not scuff. It does not scratch if you drop your phone. It protects your phone. So all of that, none of that has changed between the first line that they did and the second line. I can still access all of my ports just fine. It protects my back lenses and it protects my screen quite well, so I haven't had any issues there. Um, I would prefer if we had different colors to choose from when it comes to the actual bumpers, the edges of the case, because having just clear or this smoky black color is fairly boring when it comes to being an Android user. And I would love it if Casetify actually gave Android users the same, the same choices and the same options that they do to iPhone users. That would make me more of a Casetify fan if they did that. But right now I feel like Android users are being treated unfairly because, which is very strange because if you look at the worldwide market, Android is much more popular than iPhone. So it's kind of disappointing that Android users constantly, like we, I feel like we don't get those options uh, when iPhone users do. So Case Defy, if you're watching this, that would be a huge critique of mine is that <laughs> Android users don't get the choices. Like I want a pink bumper, 
or like a sparkly pink bumper or something that's a little bit more cute than clear or black because those are very boring. <laughs> like my phone has really pretty like rose gold bumpers with the metal casing and I would love to be able to show that off better with a different color. So that's the last of my Android cases for all these different phones. So now let's go ahead and switch over to the iPhone. This is going to require me to switch out my top-down camera because I'm using my iPhone for my top-down camera. So BRB. All right, I'm back. I have my iPhone 12 Pro Max here with my hood production case on the back of it. Unfortunately, the hood, I guess they lost the license, but they don't have any cases that are new for newer phones, uh, which is very, very sad because I really, really liked all of their different art styles. For example, we have this beautiful gold foil of the palace in the background and then Princess Serenity in the front. And the art quality is very well done. It's very, very pretty. And that gradient background that you see going from purple to blue is actually a part of the case. And we actually get sparkly bumpers, which is very, very pretty. So I miss the Hood Productions because they had some really nice cases. So let's go ahead and try on some of these case defy cases and see how they compare. So to give you a fair review of each of these, I ended up purchasing the same art for each of these different phones. Okay, remember how I was talking about how I dislike that there's no color options for the Android phones? These are the ones for the iPhone. So first we have this beautiful pink, almost a lavender or purple color for the bumpers on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And then we have the same art on the back with the Case Defy branding around the edges and the Case Defy branding under the logo for Sailor Moon. Same art, same print quality there, but the bumper is so pretty. And I love that you can choose pink with the iPhone. You can also choose an iridescent background for the 12 Pro Max and probably for the other iPhones as well. And this is just so beautiful. It just looks gorgeous. And I wish that this was included for Android phones as well. Even the sides have some iridescent coloring to them and they just look so, so pretty. I love this case. I love it, love it, love it. And I think it would look so pretty on an Android phone as well. And when you compare it to the clear background, it just lightens up my day to see the iridescent coloring compared to the purple or the clear coloring on this one. So it's so much more fun. Why can't we get the fun colors as Android users? It's just very not fair. I'm very disappointed. I have a darker colored iPhone, so let's go ahead and see what it looks like with this iridescent case. It's a little bit tougher to put on your iPhone, but not by much. Ah, oh, that looks cool. I love it, so pretty. So yeah, the art is still pretty low DPI, but come on, that's so cool. It's so pretty. It's gorgeous, I love it. See how easy it is to press your buttons, still really easy. No problems there. Ports, is it easy to access my ports? Let's find out. Yes, no problems accessing the ports. That's good. I'm glad I have chargers available right next to my recording studio. This is a good case. I like it a lot. Now, I suspect if this is anything like the Android cases, it will also protect my iPhone just fine. Here is the one featuring Sailor Moon on the front with the pink bumper that I chose. Again, very, very easy to access your ports because it's the same kind of case, just different art, different color. The buttons are easy to access. It doesn't cover up your lenses at all. It's very firm, very sturdy, all of them are. So again, with the iPhone, or Android phones, I will say that they are very easy to use, very smart build quality, and they definitely will protect your phone. Now, the last thing I wanted to share with you, uh, since I usually just use Android phones, I did not purchase any of their wireless chargers for the MagSafe chargers, and I also did not purchase the AirPods case, but I did get the Charm bracelet. So this right here is a little bracelet that you can put on your phone. At the top, it says Sailor Moon. We also have a little star right here, just a bunch of charms, a little iridescent moon, another star, and then we have a cute little print of Luna here with a bunch of pearls. Obviously, those are fake pearls. They are made out of plastic. They are not real. So you can wrap this little loop around any of the available holes on the case, and you can put it on your wrist to be able to carry your phone 
uh, without having it drop or fall out of your pocket or anything like that. And you can put this around your wrist to kind of protect your phone from falling, especially if you're clumsy like I am, which is the whole reason why I wanted to purchase this thing. It's very cute. It's very cute. I will definitely be using this for my phone because I think it's adorable. Okay, so that is all of my case to five cases. There's a lot going on here, uh, but to review, I had cases for um, a lot of phones. There's a lot of phones up here. One, two, three, four, five different phones. <laughs> so I hope that gave you a pretty fair representation of what to expect when it comes to purchasing one of these Case Defy cases. I hope that it debunked some of the myths about Case Defy cases out there as well that you never hear about from sponsorships. And if you're curious about where to purchase these or if you're curious about the pricing, some of them are still available. So I will put those links down below. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love to answer those for you. Again, I'm a huge tech reviewer. So review Viewing cases is definitely a part of that. It's something I've been doing for years. If there's anything in particular, my stomach just grumbled, I'm hungry. If there's anything in particular you would like to see me review on this channel, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. And until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs. Thank you so much to my fellow Sailor Guardians for watching. I'll see you next time. While I'm at it, you might wanna check out my previous review of the hood cases. I will put a link up here in case you wanna check it out.